everyone. Today I am cooking with my mama, Rosalinda, and she is deaf. And so today she's going to teach us how to make her famous fried burritos. This is our family favorite. We require that she makes this at every family get together that we have. So today she's going to teach us how to cook it. Okay, so first you need hamburger meat. I've got two pounds of ground beef there. Cooking. Large can of pinto beans. Um, or you can just do the fresh um, beans boiled in water. I'm cooking with Grandma and Mimi. <laughs> this is my grandson. He's three years old. Meat tenderizer I use all the time. I sprinkle this on the meat. Perfect. Some of you are always asking where my mom lives and where our family lives on the farm. This is my mom's home. She has a small cabin on our property. And it's just for her and my stepdad, just the two of them. It's a small one-bedroom cabin. It's really cute. They actually built all of it themselves. They designed it themselves. Um, the hamburger meat that I'm using is from her cow. And the meat is really tender. It's not like the grocery store meat. It's kind of dry when you buy it from the grocery store. This is really tender. I'm not used to it. Wow. Well, it's all organic, grass-fed meat, so it is a little different than just the regular meat that you'd buy at a grocery store, and it's healthier and delicious. Okay, a package of taco seasoning. You'll sprinkle that in. Um, I've got a cup of water here, but I don't... I don't know. We'll see how much I use. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like she poured in half a cup of water. And she also said she doesn't um, want to put onions in today because the kids don't like onions. But if you want to add onions, you can. Or if you want to add bell pepper, you can. Or spicy stuff in it. This is bacon grease that I had. So I'm pouring this in. in a pan, a separate pan, and I'll add in flour, I guess one large tablespoon maybe. You see this? Okay, so it looks more like two tablespoons because that was a huge tablespoon. Um, she didn't have enough baking grease in that cup, so she went ahead and added a little extra canola oil in with the baking grease. Just a little bit. And this is what it looks like with the flour and the grease. Just wait until it becomes brown, and then you'll throw the beans in and mash the beans. It tastes better if you wait till it's brown. It needs to be like a darker brown. You don't want to leave it white and pour the beans in because it won't taste right. So drain the beans just a little. Not completely. Just a little. So let me show you. Okay. Put in some salt. And pepper. And I've got my bean masher here. That tool, the bean masher. Um, you can find that at like Target, Amazon, I think it's called a bean masher, 
Um, or maybe you could use a potato masher. But it's really inexpensive. It's around less than five dollars. You can find it at any store. So canola oil is best. So I'm gonna use canola oil in another separate pan. She's got it on medium heat. And this is to fry the tortillas with the meat and beans to make the burritos. So this is the tortillas I use. I have to buy this brand, Guerrero brand tortillas, because that is my family last name, Guerrero. <laughs> She's so funny. That's her preference and brand. So you fill it with the meat, beans, Make sure you get the water out. And then sprinkle some cheese, Mexican cheese. And wrap it up. And then fry it. For the burritos, they get really greasy, so I like to lay down a paper towel to absorb the grease because I don't like that greasy flavor. So lay the paper towel down and fry them up. <laughs> 